Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today I have some forbidden romance recommendations for you. I love me a good forbidden romance. <laughs> I love it. I love like having to hide that you're together or it feels just so angsty. Like I, I love forbidden romances because of those things. So let's get into these recommendations. I have 10 books to talk about today that are forbidden for various different reasons. First, I have Twisted Games by Anna Huang. This is forbidden because a heroine in here is a princess, a crime princess, and the love interest in this book is her bodyguard. So um, they're not supposed to be together. There's actually like a, a rule or like a law she has to follow where like she can only marry someone of noble birth. So they have to keep their relationship a secret. Bridget in here is not expecting to be a crown princess, um, but her brother ends up renouncing like the crown. And so she's the next one up in the line. This is her romance with Aris, who is her bodyguard, has been a bodyguard for a few years. They definitely are not supposed to have feelings for each other whatsoever. There's also like an age gap element as well. Um, but man, <laughs> they have to hide their relationship for quite a long time in this book. So it is definitely forbidden. Praised by Sarah Kate is another quite forbidden romance. And that is because Charlie in here, our heroine, is actually the ex to the hero in here, Emerson's son. Charlie ends up going to Emerson's office one day asking for her deposit back for her apartment. They've never met before, by the way. But her ex-boyfriend's like, if you want the money back for your deposit, you're gonna have to go talk to my dad because I don't have it. So she goes to his office. He thinks that she is a submissive, like hired to be there for him in the office. And so when they first meet, he asks her to get on her knees and she's confused. She's like, uh, okay, if this is the only way I can get my money, I guess I gotta get on my knees. <laughs> he quickly realizes like, oh my gosh, <laughs> this is not the woman that I was expecting. Like, who are you? And she says like, oh, I'm Bo's ex-girlfriend, your son's ex-girlfriend. And he is mortified and to kind of get in her good graces again and hopefully her, his son's good graces because he doesn't have the best relationship with him. Like he hires her to actually be his assistant, like his actual assistant. But while they spend time together in his office, they end up falling for each other and she ends up learning more about the world that he works in. He owns this kind of club, okay? Um, so this is definitely forbidden because like, that's her ex's dad. <laughs> and if Bo were to ever find out, like things would not really be that great. Probably the most forbidden book that I've read this year is What He Doesn't Know by Candy Steiner. This is book one in the best kept secrets duet by Candy Steiner. This is book one in the series. And our heroine in here isn't doing so great. She does not have the best relationship right now with her husband. Um, they have not been intimate in a while. They have not talking to each other. Like she feels like her husband just does not love her anymore. Enter her first love who ends up working at the same school that she does. And so then starts a cheating forbidden romance between the two of them. Um, but this is a duet. You need to read both of them together to get the happily ever after. And in the end, she does end up picking one of these guys. Like, is she gonna stay with her husband or is she going to go to her first love that she's ever had? So um, this book gets so forbidden because like she's married and they're cheating. Like, like this is not, not good. But she just can't help her feelings. Like this man sparks a fire in her that she cannot explain. Bloody Heart by Sophie Lark is definitely forbidden. This is a mafia romance. This is book four. Yes, book four in her Brutal Birthright series. So this is the forbidden because this is like a class difference, like family will not approve of you romance. Simone and Dante end up meeting when Dante ends up kidnapping her family's car. She's still sitting in the back seat when he ends up kidnapping the car and she's like, uh, what are you doing? He's very surprised that there's still a person in the car and he is very apologetic. He's like, uh, I'll take you home. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to kidnap you. Like. I just meant to take this car. I need to get somewhere really fast. They come from two different worlds. She's a debutante of sorts. Um, her father is very wealthy and knows Dante's family as being in the mafia. So her father definitely does not approve of Simone being with Dante. They end up falling in love with each other though, despite their class difference and despite the odds, but something happens to where the two of them are wrenched from their relationship and have not seen each other in almost 10 years. And Simone may or may not have had Dante's baby in that time and he never knew. Um, so this is forbidden because the two of them have to hide their relationship from his family as well as hers. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed this one. I know like this book is hit or miss for people, but I absolutely, I love this one, a part of the series. One Hot Italian Summer by Karina Halley. You wouldn't think it's forbidden, but it is forbidden in certain aspects. So her heroine here is a writer and she kind of has writer's block and her agent is like, okay, I own this villa 
in Italy. How about you go vacation there um, and just get a change of scenery and hopefully that'll get your rider juices flowing. So she goes, but then she doesn't know that her agent's ex-husband and son actually live in said villa. She was not expecting that at all. And this is her romance with her agent's ex-husband. Like, I feel like that's forbidden. The agent even comes to visit them at one point and they have to hide their relationship because she does not know how to tell her. The heroine here is full on like, I'm not in love with my ex-wife. Like we're on amicable terms. Like I want everyone to know that I'm in love with you. I want to tell people. And she's like, I don't know how she would feel about this. I don't want to hurt her in any way. Um, so there is a part of this romance that is forbidden, but I just really love this book, especially for the summer season. Like it definitely put me in the summer mood. It takes place in Italy where they're at the pool a lot. Great book to put me in like a great mood. For a historical romance, I have When He Was Wicked by uh, Julia Quinn. This is book number six in the Bridgerton series. This one is definitely forbidden. Our heroine here, Francesca, is married to like what she believes is the love of her life. Like she loves her husband so much. And uh, her husband's cousin has been in love with Francesca for years. So you see, you already see the forbidden aspect in here because that man is is like the hero of the story, not her husband. Um, her husband ends up passing away and Francesca becomes a widow and the hero of the story has to move away. So he's not tempted by Francesca because he does not want to hurt her and tarnish his cousin's name. Like he loves both of them so much. Like he does not want to tarnish anything. So he ends up moving away. He comes back years later and sees Francesca all over again and cannot hide his feelings this time like he is full on in love with this woman and he cannot hide it anymore Francesca is feeling the forbiddenness of their relationship she goes you were the cousin to my husband like I feel like this is so forbidden she's trying to come to grips with like can I love someone after my husband has passed there are a few different forbidden elements of the story but this one's definitely my favorite a part of the Bridgerton series released by Claire Kent is like a sci-fi one, both characters are like humans, but it like takes place on another planet. A planet that's very like royal in certain aspects. The hero here has been sent on a mission to like infiltrate the planet of sorts. And every night the queen of the planet ends up picking a suitor from these guys. And he has these mind powers and um, makes this woman not pick him because like the queen is very much like one and done. Funnily enough though, this is not his romance with the queen. It's the romance with the queen's sister. The sister believes that the hero is here obviously to court the queen because he's there in the lineup of men when in actuality he's trying to complete a mission on this planet and he needs to stay there as long as possible. And like if he gets chosen, he ends up leaving the planet afterwards. So um, it's forbidden because uh, the queen thinks he's there to court her when he's not <laughs> so they have to keep their relationship a secret um because like he could get by like not fully dedicating himself to the queen this one's like a very short very entertaining sci-fi romance there's a lot of political intrigue and forbiddenness going on in this one for sure a grace draven novella is the king of hell this one whoo very forbidden the heroine of this book is the best friend uh like ladies made of sorts to this queen queen has been put in an arranged marriage with the king of hell he is uh known to be like a very scary looking warrior and they end up getting an arranged marriage the heroine in here though doesn't end up marrying him but she ends up falling for the queen's husband like right from the get-go and he falls in love with her as well but there's nothing that they can do like they're in an arranged marriage they can't get out of it so the two of them end up forming this bond and the two of them like feel so wrong for feeling the way that they do, but they can't help it. But don't worry because her friend doesn't like him like at all. <laughs> like she doesn't like him at all. She does not care. That obviously sounds very complicated, <laughs> but I swear like, I feel like it's worth the read. This was Grace Draven's first ever like published work. And you could definitely see her growth in her writing. But I feel like when you read this one, like it definitely gives nods to what will later be Radiance, which is one of the best books ever written to me. The last two books I'm gonna mention are two Cassie Mint novellas. First, I have Big Biker. This is a part of her Big Boy series. This is forbidden because it's class difference romance. The heroine is a part of this very debutante rich family. And her dad has basically promised her marriage to this smiley wealthy man and literally i think at like the engagement dinner or something she ends up taking a step outside to like get some air and she ends up meeting the hero who is this big big biker man who it's definitely a man her father would not approve of but she cannot help but get on the back of his bike with him and ride off into the sunset like whew, it's really good really short quick read but i really enjoyed it as well as 
Then Ice by Cassie Mint. This one's forbidden because the heroine is a figure skater and this is the romance with her coach. Like, forbidden, yes? <laughs> like, that's a no-no. That's what I'm gonna say about that one because that one is self-explanatory as to why it's forbidden. Anyways, there you have it. Those were 10 forbidden romance recommendations. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me the shh like emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see you all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.